to Saul saying why hast thou deceived me for thou art Saul let's read verse 14 together and he said unto her what form is he of and she said an old man cometh up he is covered with a mantle and so perceived it was Samuel and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself winning your case in the coven winning your case in the coven there's going to be trouble today I came to anger witches and wizards winning your case that you submitted my case in the coven doesn't mean you will win that you submitted my case in the coven doesn't mean you will win the place you have read a man called Saul he went to the, a witch in the coven at night and said bring me up somebody whose name I will give to you I have came with somebody's name I want to make someone barren I want to make someone bound I want to make someone poor I want to submit his name to you I want to make sure someone doesn't get married I want to submit his name to you I want to make sure someone has an accident I want to submit his name to you listen to me if you read first Samuel chapter 17 if you read from verse 42 43 down the Bible says despite the size of Goliath despite how big Goliath was despite the size the strength and the height of Goliath he still deployed the super diabolical in the midst of battle Don't, Goliath was big that was not his strength Goliath had weapon that was not his strength he caused David in the name of his God he made the incantation am I communicating here if you go down to verse 47 David says the battle is the Lord this battle is not an ordinary fight David said Goliath if I can handle you in the spirit no matter what I use in the physical you will go down even if I use a stone and a sling you will go down because the biggest fight is in the spirit I came today by the force of God I came today to check power of witchcraft to tear down the power of hell any day your name has been taken to it shall backfire i say it shall backfire i say it shall backfire somebody shot fire tell somebody win me your case in the cover take your seat witchcraft the word witch means to divert the word craft means an act 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 a design when i say aircraft is something designed to fly in the air a design so you say which divert craft design so witchcraft is the act of diverting from the original intention God plan the agenda of God is that you should go this direction how do they divert you from it they employ witchcraft am I talking to somebody here how do they divert you from the original plan and purpose of God they employ today I'm going to show you some things very soon anywhere and anyone who has carried your name so your name is powerful how do people get your attention talk to me how do they get your attention when you are in the midst of a crowd something can stop you if you are walking in the midst of a crowd there is only one thing that can stop you what your name after all Jesus went through God did not give him a car God didn't give him a house God gave him what? A name! There is power in name. When God called Abraham, he said, I will make you a name. When God promised Abraham,
Abraham. God said, Abraham, I swear by my name. In the Bible, how God classify affliction is not cancer, it's not tumor, it's name. God has exalted him and given him a name. Name! Wherever your name has been called, wherever your name has been mentioned, the name of your family, the name of your job, your father's name, the name of the lineage, wherever they called your name, I begin to shall appear. Exodus 22 18. The Bible said, Thou shalt not suffer. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10. You see that the strength of Jezebel. Look at this. Look at this. Jezebel was a woman. She put her husband in her pocket. She killed 400 prophets of God. In the time of Jezebel, prophets were hiding in the cave. She relocated some prophet from, from Israel to Philistine. When the year, in fact, Jezebel was that terrible that even Elijah ran. What was her strength? In 2 Kings, 1 Kings rather, chapter 9, or sorry, 2 Kings 9, verse 22. The Bible says Jezebel and all are witchcraft. You see, the mother Jezebel, all are witchcraft are so many. Papa, that's Old Testament now. We are in the New Testament. In Acts chapter 8 verse 9, there was a man called Simon the Sorcerer. He put the whole city. The Bible says, the whole, he bewitched the whole Samaria. One man. He gave witchcraft. He bewitched them. Put them in his pocket. Not a whole family. Oh. He didn't bewitch a family. He didn't bewitch a street. He bewitched a city. Someone covered their eyes. Have you not seen that in politics? There are some politicians. Every government, they collect appointment. Every government, they collect appointment. They submit name. They are some commissioner. Their brother SA. They bewitch a whole city. Witchcraft. Witchcraft is not only in the old. It's actually a work of the flesh. Galatians 5, I think 9 or 19. One of the works of the flesh is what? Witchcraft. Galatians, I think 5, 9 or 19. Is witchcraft. And you study your Bible. The Bible says, and he said, please, I need his name. The witches could not, the witch, the, that woman was called the witch of Endor. The witch of Endor. He said, I cannot. We don't need people's address. We need their name. I can't walk or do anything. She requested. Say, give me the name. Who is carrying your name? Who has submitted your name? Kasotala. Thunder shall blast. I said, Thunder shall blast. Take your seat. Let me flow. Win me your case in the cover. Another word for witchcraft is wickedness. In First John, I think five verse nineteen, he said the whole world lieth in wickedness. In Psalm thirty-four nineteen to twenty-one, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him from them all. He keepeth all his bones. And none shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hear the righteous. In Isaiah 57 21, he said, There is no peace, said my God, to the wicked. In Ephesians 6, if you read verse 16, God armed you so you'll be able to stand and quench the fairy darts of the wicked. Ephesians 6, verse 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual in 
but there is a scripture that I love in Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 13 Ecclesiastes 8 13 the Bible says it shall not be well with the wicked it shall not be well anyone submitting your name it shall not be well with them when you identify a witch this is the scripture you send to the witch after the other of Ecclesiastes 8 13 in case that one is hard for you you supply the witch supply Isaiah 3 verse 10 and 11 say, say to the righteous it shall be where shall eat the fruit of their doing but verse 11 he said woe unto the wicked it shall be ill he go seek it shall be ill with him another word for witchcraft is what wicked next in proverbs 14 verse 19 he said evil shall bow before good as the wicked before the gate he said give me his name and the bible says two men went with war witches don't operate without partnership i'm giving you my point so number one is name number two how to win case begin to follow it now number one is name number two what partnership somebody say partnership in proverbs 11 verse 21 the bible said go hands join in hands go hands join in hands. the wicked in isaiah 54 don't forget this one he say hand join in hand verse 15 he said they shall surely they 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 shall surely gather but not by me they shall in isaiah 8 Shanda. verse 10 and that takoba rakate ya shada he said take counsel oh talk to me take counsel take counsel alone 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 take counsel he shall not i prophesy as he hear the sound of my voice every conspiracy every gathering against your life every gang up of the enemy territory every conspiracy of the wicked no matter the number of them that gather whether close or far whether friends or foe as many as gather together to cause you pain to manipulate your life to divert god's plan for your destiny today they scatter today they scatter today they scatter i command them 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 scat
to be friends. I said something abroad. And I said to the people, if God, I think I said it here also, that if God opens your eyes, have I said that here? To see the person sitting by you, what is the content of his heart? You will change it. <laughs> Many of you will change seat. You'll be shocked. What? They disguise themselves. Saul had to put on another garment for him to be involved in witchcraft. To get involved in witchcraft, you must be deceptive. You must be cunning. That is why First Samuel 15, 23 says, Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And that, as an apprentice, or you have mastered, once there is a seed of rebellion, rebellion, you have already entered into witchcraft. Yes, you have entered into witchcraft. Witchcraft is a spirit. That's what you should know. It's a spirit. Coven is a location. Witchcraft is a spirit. Two went with him and he disguised. He was something. He disguised. He disguised. They, they have partnership 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 in Acts 23 if you read verse 12 and 13 it says certain Jews banded themselves together and came under a curse that they will not eat or drink until the keeper hold on verse 13 he said the number of them in this conspiracy conspiracy they were what? 40 more than 40 and when they got there after he submitted his name the bible says he said what do you want? number what now? petition in the covenant, they submit just the way we get prayer requests. They get to. It's a court. There are some. Hold on. Oh, Yagabakata. Is it? Let me show you something. Yeah, this Reverend feeding. In John five, verse six, Jesus saw that man by the pool and knew he has been in that case, not condition. Somebody submitted this case to the coven. That matter was a case. Oh, it was not now. The right word should be he saw him in that condition. He said, He knew he had been in that. That man by the pool, somebody submitted his petition, somebody brought his. Okay, hold on. What does the Bible call God for us? What does it call God? The righteous judge. I think first John chapter 2, verse 1, I think so. He said, We have an advocate with the Father. What is the advocate? A lawyer. A lawyer. My little children, these things I wrote, I write unto you that you sin not. If any man sin, we have an advocate. It's a case. Somebody submitted the matter. He said, What do you Hey, they have a plan in Proverbs 11 verse 7. He said, When the wicked man diet, his expectation shall perish. I think in Proverbs 10, I think verse 28 or so, he said, The expectation of the wicked shall perish. Any petition about your life that has been submitted in the covenant, any petition about your family that has been submitted in the covenant, I tear that paper. I command it catch fire. I command it catch fire. I remove your name. I put your name there. Somebody shut fire. Take your seat. A man was angry that somebody was doing well so he went to meet 
a witch doctor and told the witch doctor do anything to this man and take his life the witch doctor said I will do it it's easy you will call the name and the man will appear this is knife stab you must stab if you don't stab you are in trouble you will stab he called the name of the man the first time called the second time as he called the third time rather than the man's face to appear his own face appear Baba say stab he says sir it's me stab so long and it appears stab he that dig it Shakara hey! <laughs> the man said stab stab you must stab wherever your name <laughs> has been mentioned uh, wherever your name has called I decree those that mention it shall appear there hey! take your seat take your seat wickedness and the bible says they inquired through familiar spirit let me tell you familiar spirit is not the spirit that looks like you no when you say family it not looks like you familiar spirit means a spirit that is common in your family that has your details or your data what does that tell you <laughs> it was not just enough for Saul to go to the coven he had to also engage familiar spirits in your fa before somebody in a family is attacked there must be someone there that collaborates with the attackers in your family there's someone that is partnering with outsiders to sell you in the family familiar spirits nothing happening is new or far its root is close. Against familiar spirit. In Psalm 125, verse 3, he said, The rod of the wicked shall not rest shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Let the righteous put forth their hands to iniquity. We came with trouble today in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11 he said because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily the heart of men is set fully them to do evil if there are demons there are angels if there are evil spirit there is the Holy Spirit if there is a coven there is heaven I came to speak the mandate of God any witchcraft summoned wherever your case is hanging wherever your case is pending in the coven of the witches in the marine world in the serpentine world when we begin to pray in the next few minutes the only prescription for witches is death the witch shall die <laughs> I said the witch shall die <laughs> somebody shall die 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 Take your seat. Familiar. That's number what? Number what is that? Hold on. Listen to me. Do you know? Let me shock you. Do you know the reason? David was in the same town with Saul. Saul couldn't kill him. Yeah, he enjoyed divine protection. Yeah, he enjoyed divine covering. But one of the strengths that David had over Saul is that Jonathan was with him. Jonathan! A member, I want your throne, a member of your family. There was a, the time they were doing a feast, a season. 
David had prepared his mind to come. Jonathan said, Don't come. My father seat get to keep. And there's an inside out. It is called in law conspiracy theory. What's that call? There's someone who has in law, there's a balance for it, an alibi. He has an alibi. So it's not straight. Now listen to this. <clears throat> in can I preach? In Luke 19 from verse 29, just write. <clears throat> in Mark 11 from verse 1, write. Matthew 21 from verse 1, wrote. <laughs> There was a, all of this is one story, one particular story about the ass that was tied. But hear this: as they were losing, the Bible did say later. He said, as they were losing the ass, the owners. Does that tell you something? They stayed there. They tied it and they monitored it to make sure it stays tied. As they were losing in the process they didn't get a phone call that they were coming to lose it they didn't get a call they didn't send them a mail that they were coming they didn't flash their phone they didn't send an emissary or someone to go tell them as they were the owners the owner not the creators your mother may have submitted you because she feels she owns you, but she didn't create you. <clears throat> your sister may say she's the owner, you are part of them, but she's not your creator. You hear me? The owners ask, why do you lose it? He said, and you shall reply, the Lord. If there are the owners, there is the Lord. The Lord owns the owners. The Lord. The Mashaganda Brakatea. Sakwata Tabaka. Linko Shekati Barika Suka Patela. What I'm telling you now is that there is an insider. There is an insider. There is an insider. There is an insider. That's number five, right? Can I give one more before I give you two more? He said, and they went at night. When? If you must subdue the coven, you must understand the power of the night. Men are helpless at night. Because night is illegal for man to walk. That is why demons walk at night. Because they legalize illegality. John chapter 9 verse 4. For the night come out. And that is why the servants of God who are called out, who are honored, are men that stand by night. Psalm 134 verse 1. Come bless the Lord, these servants of the Lord, who stand by night. While others are sleeping, you are standing. In John 13 verse 30, after Judas ate the sop, they gave him the sop. The, the sop there is S-O-P, not son of the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> he said after he ate the sop he went what time at when night if you understand the power of the night great men operate at night if men must take up issues of destiny discussed at night if you get close to politicians, you understand they walk at night. Because the tension is down. Everywhere seems calm. They know at that time there is less. So you understand how to control your night. Those who bow their knees at night, they stretch their feet in the day. The night. The devil may take anything from you. But don't let him take. 
break your night. Your night is your time of flight. Your night is your right. Your night is your time of connection. Your night is the time to put this in place. You can't do sleeping. destiny is wasting. Why not an enemy? Enemy so pairs. Am I talking to somebody here? My strength is night. It's not, I can't remember. And I say this other God. As it could be night here. Yeah. that, I can't imagine myself sleeping twelve to five. I don't know which year that happened. I don't know which I'm saying this month. I don't know which year. Twelve to five straight. It cannot. It's, my body cannot even be adjusted to that. It's not possible. Two hours is too much. Something will shake me up. Two hours. They grab, they grab sleep. And someone sleeps as if he's trying to win the competition. As if there is an award for. Chapter 3, do you remember we are talking? One said to King Solomon, said, At night, while I slept, listen, on, I overlay on my when I sleep, something dies. Hey! When you oversleep, please, your, the first thing you do with your phone, hear me. Is not called alarm. Program your alarm. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! When they met, when they met Jonah, they didn't an evil man. Call him treacherous man. A cow sleeper. The reason you even of running from your master. The reason you got to the point that you ran from the call of God is because sleep overwhelmed you. In Psalm <laughs> chapter 13. It's a light in my eyes. Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Light in my eyes. You know, have you heard people say to you, one thing I like about myself is I close my eyes. I don't sleep. I know they are not, not gifts. Not so God, not so we be for we family. Once I just close like this. There are people you can't have a conversation with for five minutes. You can't have a conversation with them for five minutes. They are talking to you. Talking to you. I used to have a driver. I don't I never when I started driving, he actually put me through in driving. I he sleeps a lot on the steering. How I know he's sleeping is I, I, I don't sit at the back with him. I sit beside him. Once you hear, shout! Oh, <laughs> he starts smiling. I say, "What? He sleep just past my eye." <laughs> Once you oversleep, you must be a victim in life. Once you are a person who is bound, there are some of you. That's the deliverance you need today. Freedom from sleep. Not be your fault too. Now so your body be. Some people can sleep on tons and hot iron and, and sleep well. <laughs> you know tons. Chuku chuku. Thank you. <laughs> 
they will sleep on thorns and thistles and briars and they will sleep well carry them from the house from a story building throw them down they will learn stretch and continue sleeping once you don't know Paul, Saul was a king but he sacrificed how do you win the bible says, as soon as they called listen to this oh do you know that lady never knew it was all she didn't know it was all but as soon as saw yeah this said bring up so so someone yeah the, the bible says, and the woman saw someone then saul asked her what did you see he said i saw gods i'm confused but you just said you saw someone how come you are saying you see God? The lady knew that the only person that commands this kind of attention is Samuel. Samuel did not appear when she invoked it. The gods went ahead of Samuel. Watch this. And the woman said, Hey, Saul! In other words, the only person that we have the audacity to call Samuel the only person as how come Samuel appeared and the lady the gods appeared and the lady said you are Saul I mean nobody has brought this name here because they know what will happen the only person that will dare you is someone close to you that will dare you what others cannot dare the person will dare it let me dare it and see what will happen that they will dare what others dread The Bible says, and God appeared. I want to say this. An error for you to be summoned before a mirror and you appear. How do I win my case in the covenant? Let God appear. Anywhere your name has been mentioned. Someone say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Appear. Appear. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Appear. Appear. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, appear, appear. Oh Lord, oh Lord, appear, appear. In Psalm sixty-eight, verse one. In the same thing, in Numbers ten, verse thirty-five. Before David said it, Moses said it. He said, "Rise up, O Lord, let thy enemies be." listen to me wherever they have summoned you the only way to win the case in the coven let god appear masadagra in verse 20 of that chapter the bible says saw there was no strength left in him he could not eat he was weak he was disappointed you took the case to the coven you are the one losing strength how come you carried my matter yet you are the one that is now sick you are the one that summoned me and you are the one that is confused you are the one that announced my name in the coven any assignment your enemy has embarked on over you it is a frustrated assignment any assignment your enemies have embarked over your life the assignment shall backfire the assignment shall backfire the assignment shall backfire the assignment shall backfire whether your father made a mistake your mother listen to me in israel in israel hear me in israel you know the gun you know gun g-u-n what the gun is today is what the sword was then you cannot use a gun until you are licensed then you cannot use a sword until you are licensed they were called sword men men that drew the sword they were licensed that was why if you use the sword and you are not licensed you will be sentenced are you what i'm talking about because you need to be licensed so when peter cut off the ear of marcus peter was a fisherman he was not licensed he had no right to carry a sword so when the Marcus was cut off. The ear was on the ground, so there was an evidence that he used the sword. That was why Jesus put the ear back. I cancelled the evidence. The 
against you would have had against my boy to hold against him i can't show the evidence if not peter would have been crucified before christ am i talking to somebody here anything that you any mistake your father made any mistake your mother made that witches are capitalizing and they are leveraging on i can't show the evidence <laughs> I cancel the evidence. I cancel the evidence. I frustrate their arguments. I cancel the evidence. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. If the wind shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Winning your case in the cover that you took my name there doesn't mean you will win have you not seen people who carry you to the station and they jail them not bring, not do bring matter they win there are cases where the complainant become the accused <laughs> Where yes, someone took your name is now begging for the matter to end. He said, No, it's okay. It's okay. Say no. Let's continue. There will be reaction in the spirit realm. Who, who is who is who is familiar with them? Who knows them? Who relates with them? Who is calling their phone number? Who is attracting them to the family? But this is what Samuel did. When someone appeared, he appeared with a mantle. What makes men indestructible is mantle. Mantles are given, are transferred. Mantle. When the Lord appeared in First Kings chapter nineteen, either verse three or thirteen, when the Lord appeared to Elijah in a still small voice, what protected Elijah was his mantle. The Bible says, "Covered himself, he wrapped his face in his mantle. That was his protective strength." The first time he called Elisha, it. He threw the mantle. First Kings 19, 19. He threw the mantle on him. Took it back. As soon as he threw the mantle, that became, El, became Elisha's focus. This thing this man threw on me and took back. I want it permanently. The husband was pursuing his pocket. But this guy was saying, this, what I want is mantle. I want the mantle. And the second Kings chapter 2, verse 13. 13. You're going to see something that sounds like tautology. Second Kings chapter 2, verse 13. He said, He took up also the mantle of Elijah. That what? Okay, read verse 14. And he took that fair. What is that in English? Tautology. Verse 13. He took the mantle verse 14 he took the mantle does god repeat himself no it was actually telling you that this thing he has received is double to prove that it was actually a double portion he took it he took it he took it he took it eh? He took it. He took it. Can I can I speak this English? Don't mind me. Before you leave here, you will took it. <laughs> you will take mantle. This morning is a mantle morning. Uh -huh. The mantle of protection fall upon your head. <laughs> 
the mantle of preservation will fall upon your head the mantle of escape will fall upon your head as a bird is escaped out of the snare of the fowler the snare is broken and we have we have escape 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 i've shared this testimony for many years but for some of us who have not been around how many of you have been around this ministry less than two years raise your hand less than two years you have been around this ministry less than two years raise your hand wave it less than two years you have been around all right put it down less than three years raise it okay less than four years raise it all right in lagos where where what a brother a young boy started a company in a place they call first tax town first tax town is where they did first tax 77 what enslaved nigeria it was an exhibit where people were permitted with all charm from india bring your idol it was a witchcraft trade fair come and exhibit your idol so they imported all kinds of demons to nigeria so in that first time this young man started a company and in that company the family sat him down and said this thing you have started you know your elder brother has nothing he's doing so you have to give him work so he told the family say i can give him money to start up his business this company is for those who are educated and his brother did not go to school but the brother said i trained you in school i trained you in school he said but sir this he said hey give me any office where i will speak english now it was a massive estate complex with diverse offices so there were security everywhere so it was like the cso the chief security officer he had his own office all the outlets in in and out the exit and the entry they report to him he has something is a cctv camera is watching and all of that so he sits down they report to him but he was angry but people suddenly noticed that there was a department called the personnel department anybody that enters there after two three months the person will die one person died entered they died second died third died fourth died so they shut the office nobody was going there and there was a christian brother in lagos who was looking for a job and he saw personnel manager wanted apply in person so he went there and when he got there he said i saw an, um, a job offer outside i came for it he met somebody at the desk and the person said which one he said the personnel department the secretary shouted jesus because they know that area and they asked the brother they said are you married he said yes i have children oh he said what is the matter nothing nothing uh, yeah oh Oh, guys upstairs go up he got there he met the man he said yes yes he said see 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 the man was shocked took off his glasses say please can you do it he says my cv he said leave your cv can you do it we are we are lacking we have lost quite a lot because that that the function and we need it to relate with staff he says sir, sir look at my cv he said don't worry about cv can you do it he said, I can. They opened the office for him, gave him an appointment that day. He was happy that God has given him breakthrough. Not knowing there was a spirit of death in that office. And 
when he went to the office that day everything went well everybody was waiting downstairs when he came out they said how was it he said fine everything is okay oh hey uh, what are the ages of your children say they are hey hey why are you all doing this uh, no, nothing sir mm, this life is this how this young man will just uh, just die for nothing and the brother the next day while he was signing documents the thing that killed other four showed up the world began to talk there was a voice coming from the world in Donda, you will soon die in Donda, you will soon die in Donda, you will soon die the brother he, he, he went back he put his ear away in Donda, you will soon die in Donda, you will soon die uh -uh. he closed and shut the window shut the door the voice was coming from the wall in Donda, you will soon die it began to increase in Donda, you will soon die and he remembered that in the afternoon while they were having something at the canteen he had people say that word talk so he said which word he didn't understand so when he put his ear again he had it in Donda, you will soon die the brother went backward he said Matthew 18 18 You may soon die. He said, The Bible said, They shall surely gather, not by me. They shall fall for your sake. Oh. Bind you. The voice increased. In thunder, you will soon die. He said, The Bible says, The name of the Lord is a strong power. The righteous run to it, and they are saved. Bind you. A python came out of the wall. When he said, I bind you, the python will turn. The elder brother of the man that owes the company in his office, he will turn. I bind you, the snake will turn. The man will turn. He said, The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Even in the garden of Eden, there was a serpent there. I am not afraid of the by night, no, not the arrow that fly by day, not the pestilence that's pocket in darkness. A thousand shall fall at my side. By this time, people stood by people stood by the door. They were looking at the man, looking at the snake, looking at the man. There was drama after Ebenezer. In your life, there shall be drama. Hey! I said there shall be drama. I said there shall be drama. Hey! I said there shall be drama. Hey! I said there shall be drama. your life the way it is now it's not how it's meant to be somebody submitted your name somebody took your name <laughs> somebody submitted a petition wherever i have been summoned let it backfire say my father my father my father my father as i begin to pray as i begin to pray wherever i have been summoned for evil and attack for evil and attack backfire backfire
you know the Bible says and Saul disguised we want to address that and Saul disguised any garment listen to this that is covering the identity of the enemies around me uh -huh. that thing they are wearing it might be a a character garment any garment covering the identity of enemies around me whatever it is emotional garment they have crept into your emotions that you can't even identify them I said to someone early hours of this morning I said there are things you must not know because if you know if you know there are some things you must not know if you know for weeks you'll be depressed if you know how long some close people and how far they have gone to make you go through pain when I say you'll be depressed for weeks you, you, you try to imagine what have you done in one of my organizations where I run they spent over two hours doing a conference talk yesterday and I was hitting them one by one by one by one by one and one asked a question daddy you know all these things I said I know and you kept quiet I said I've seen too many things in life so when you are going on the path of destruction I leave you so by the time you make mistakes if you are if you are wise enough to retrace it and I asked one of them on the phone I said what have they done to you why this bring up this person you finish finish person and come to say, sir fire him sir fire him fire him I said leave him there sir this lady fire her. Fire. I said let me now expose that all of you fighting yourselves this man is behind it I said see 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 and I was here on the phone Jesus Jesus sir that's not what happened Jesus I said I know and I said you 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 sir you you are fired you you are fired I want to fire you for everybody to hear what have they done most mistakes they were making it was the one pushing them don't come to work don't come to work turn off your phone he says he told me to turn off my phone now if I do that you may sympathize with me and me you don't want me to ransom no what he wants poor make his poor you don't want me to ransom say no I will tell you if he's going to go bad because of this you are arrogant let it go bad no hey hey one told this man says I have not slept since last night I've been thinking he said I'm afraid of everybody now including my landlord <laughs> he said I'm scared of everyone including my landlord he says this one like that I said that's what it is don't suspect people but expect anything what have you done but today we're going to pray because experience is not a good teacher don't wait to be a victim before you react every garment covering the identity of wicked and evil people around me let that garment catch fire uh -huh. Lord reveal their identity expose them I want to know them I don't want to walk in darkness anymore open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray
final prayer what preserved Samuel even in death was mantle the mantle of protection fall upon me the mantle of preservation fall upon me the mantle of sustenance I need a mantle. I need a man. I need to carry something. When a witch doctor, when somebody is threatening you, because he has a witch doctor, has a witch doctor, the person is talking of confidence because he's not thinking. He knows she knows that something maximum mantle. Elisha said, I don't want to go around assuming, thinking. I want to move around with a consciousness that I carry something. A tangible thing. When, it, when Elisha left, he had to test what he carried. He casted the mantle on Jordan and said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And the Bible said, the water parted Hida Tita. He that did that. The mantle. Follow me. Are you surprised? Every prophet in the time of old had the mantle. Isaiah had the mantle. Elijah had the mantle. Elisha had the mantle. The mantle that covers, that preserves. And when you carry the mantle, wherever you are summoned, it is God that appeared. The Bible says, and he said, I saw gods ascending. I saw gods ascending. He said, and somewhere with them. So when the mantle comes for someone to kill you, they have to kill God, kill Jesus, kill the Holy Spirit before getting you out. Mantle. Mantle. When I go then to the Archbishop Idaosa, when I go to his service then, all I was praying for was mantle. One time he gave us money to share. I will not forget. Years ago, 11,000. We had three of us. I didn't take it. I didn't touch it. It was big money. Oh. 1993. I didn't touch it. I gave, ah, ah, Papa gave us one. Papa gave. I said, no, that's not what I want. I want mantle. There's something that made Papa, Papa. I said, I want mantle. I didn't ask for double portion. Single is enough. If I half, a quarter is enough. I need something. There are people that they don't attempt them anymore because they have attempted severally someone was confessing that they came like a wind to our house they tried to attack me they couldn't they tried to attack mama they couldn't they went to reinforce it was a period that went. i don't go to the kitchen that's not my department he said that period i went to meet in my former house where i was living he said that period i went to meet mama in the kitchen and i held her he said the fire engulfed the house now I don't believe in those confessions what made me believe there was nobody in that house when i went to the kitchen told mom that's when i said ah this thing is true because if i even asked my wife then i'm sure she would have forgotten i just went there casually ate. you know anytime a man goes to the kitchen when they are cooking you must still still one thing take one piece of meat <laughs> just walk away he said you enter the kitchen and you help mama oh this is true you are on a listen, there is nothing that makes you this bravado this arrogance this boast 
nothing can happen to me nothing can happen to me you don't say that when mantle is lacking hold on let's be you see, let's let's be sincere have you not actually seen people that destroy shrine and fesic attack bam, on them they went there without mantle they use mind some some run mad you say you don't get married you say i will not get married where is the charm where's the charm today blood of jesus blood of bah, bah. faith is not arrogance it's substance faith is not arrogance is what is what faith is not arrogance is substance you must know you carry something Ninety-one, ninety-two. 92 i was in my mother's house i went to visit her and i said to the lord i am not leaving this room until i see you i locked the door through the key from under the client was there i started praying on a sunday i was there on the monday i was there on the tuesday i was there on the wednesday i was there on the thursday i was there on the friday i was there on the saturday i was there on the enter the next day i was there i continued on the 16th day i saw a man walk i saw his brightness when i say i am called it's not arrogance it's substance when i say i've encountered the lord i'm not talking on the platform of just mere conviction and belief i saw him walk he said take this towel wipe out tears i have read the bible back to back before then i have not seen acts 10 38. he gave me when i went back i opened it how god anointed jesus of nazareth who went about i said this characterizes your mandate who went you see me move from nation to nation there's a backing i'm not just going about it's not a decision it's a commission nation to nation to nation and no accident no no attack nothing has happened no crash no problem it's because he said go about you have a church base who went about doing good healing all that we oppressed of the devil for god he said that characterizes your me so we move from nation to nation on the platform you need substance elisha said i will not start this thing until like i carry i know katabra the mantle of preservation you see the anointing of god is very heavy here this morning if you are sensitive you can perceive it the mantle of preservation mantle of transient elongation the mantle of productivity listen to me anything happening in a man's life flourishingly as a mantle in that department any area of a man's life where he flourishes financial mantle there's apostolic mantle to break new grounds there is healing mantle there is preaching mantle there is even a mantle to fast there's a mantle for intercession there is financial monetary mantle lift your right hand on the fire say my father my father as i begin to pray mantle of preservation mantle of sustenance mantle of protection Open your mouth the man for the Yeah! <laughs> 
The anointing of God's spirit is in this place. That's it. Mantles are dropping. Mantles. Any area and any aspect you hunger for, take the mantle. Take the mantle. Take the mantle. Take, 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 take. Wait, wait. Take, take, take. Take, take, take it, take it. Any area, any area, any area you need a mantle. Take the mantle, take the mantle. The mantle of preservation, sustenance, protection, elongation. Heresy. The mantle of glory. Heresy. The mantle of grace. Heresy. Take the mantle, take the mantle. Amen. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. This is the day of the latter rain. Lift those hands up. This is the day of the latter rain. God is moving in his power again. In the name of Jesus, this is the day of the latter rain. God is moving in His power again. I'm a Baba Baba Balabasha. Jesus, hold your hands, hold your hands, hold your hands. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Hold your hands, hold your hands. Father, I drop mantle. I drop mantle. I drop mantle. I drop mantle. Take it, 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 take it. Hey, hey. Oh. And this is the day of the latter rain. God is moving in His power again. By the By the anointing, Jesus raised the yoke of the Holy Ghost, Ghost and power, just as a promise. This is the day of the following the leading of the spirit i sense we're going to have a very heated prophetic meeting everyone put your hands on your head now i don't know who's taking the testimonies tonight but as this thing happened all you will do for me is we want to hear the testimony tonight i want to penetrate in the spirit into your father's house I want to handle familiar spirits I 
and the book of John they said it is better for one man to die than for the whole nation to die it's better for one by the power of the Holy Ghost <laughs> any altar where your name is any altar in your job your home your profession your endeavor among your colleagues among your peers among your schoolmates your workmates your classmates everywhere your name your photograph a piece of your cloth a group photograph with you arrowed and singled out wherever you have been conjured the bible said there is no enchant against jacob no, no divination against israel everywhere where they've made pronouncements he said associate yourself all ye people you shall open to pieces speak the word he shall not stand take counsel together he shall come to naught for the lord is with us wherever it has been mentioned and summoned right now I stand to make a decree Mercy. by the force of grace let there be confusion in that place hey. let there be confusion in that place hey, hey. let there be confusion in that place hey, hey. anyone who is a strong man strong woman anyone who has summoned who has invoked conjured your name your children your siblings your spouse what happened to Korah, Datan and Abira may the ground open and swallow them hey, hey. Hey, hey. father Paul said Alexander the copper smith did me much evil he said the Lord reward him everyone that have done you much evil may the Lord reward them may the Lord reward them hey, hey. and the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph by night arise take the young child and return back to Israel for they are dead that seek his life Seek your life. Hey! They are dead that seek your life. Hey! They are dead that seek your joy. Hey! They are dead that seek your peace. Hey! They are dead that seek your progress. Hey! They are dead in the name of King. That has been dropped on your body from the covens of witchcraft all that has been dropped on your assignment all that has been dropped on your finances on all that concerns you those who drop it carry your properties hey, hey. those who drop it carry your properties hey, hey. be free in the name of Jesus hey. be free in the name Jesus, hey, hey. be free in the name of Jesus. Hey. The witch, the wizard in your family dies this morning. Hey, hey. They died this morning. Hey, hey. God will prove to you that He sent me. They hey. died this morning. Hey, hey. God will prove to you that He sent me. You will get a message that the strong man is dead. Hey, hey. The strong woman is dead. Hey, hey. They are dead. Hey, hey. They are dead. Hey, hey. They are dead. Hey. Raise your hands and begin to thank Him. Hallelujah. Thank Him for your victory. Thank Him for your victory. Hey, hey. Thank Him for your victory. Shanda balada yaladas. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. 
Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank him. For the victory. Mighty God. Mighty God. We worship you, Lamb of God. In Jesus' name. Get a seat in your hand. We are back here. What time? Huh? What time? 4 p.m. And we're going to bask in grace. And I'm going to believe God. If you are sensitive, you know I'm handling this program systematically. Because I want every session, you should live with something. You should live with something. As soon as it, you get out of this place and you get that message, we want to hear that testimony tonight. Both the herbalist and the one who summoned them, they are gone. All Omega pastor's wife, if you are an Omega pastor's wife, you are in the crowd, you are on the altar, anywhere you are. At the end of this session now, Omega pastor's wife, leaders, um, women leaders, treasurers, secretaries, all of you are to come this way. After this meeting, all of you, leaders, treasurers, secretaries, women leaders, and come this way. There's a meeting they are having with you. Youth presidents and their executives should wait immediately after the service. Over the, the second choir stand. Or youth presidents in the crowd and your executives. Lift up your seat. Father, we decree this is blessed. In Jesus' name. It is blessed. Amen.
Case in the cover. There'll be reactions after this meeting. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you by 4 p.m. There's going to be reactions all over in your favor. In Jesus' name. My head is a good head. My life is a good one. Angels shall fight for me. Greatness on my side. Goodness shall follow me. No matter what the matter is, I cannot feel. Because God cannot fail. For me to fail, God has to fail. Since God cannot fail, I cannot fail. Don't expect me to fail. Shake hands with five people and tell them, I have won the case. I have won the case. Oh, 
for my drum. But he stood me tall in the midst of them all. I'm a living testimony. Hey, you've done what no man can do. Freedom, my strength to fight. Given me victory in the midst of adversity. What no man can do. A story no man can change. That is what you have done.